Now let's go to Bob Beckel. This is supposed to be the resident liberal on the five on Fox News Channel. But of course, he's either a punching bag and goes, oh, okay, you got me again, you other four. Oh, okay, liberals are wrong. Or he outright wings them, as he did in this particular case when it came to the issue of the Boston bombings. Let's watch. Listen, I, I, I don't think what Brokaw said is, we know now, there's been enough research done, we know there's one bottom line. In the Muslim communities around the world, they do not like us. Mm -hmm. The hatred for the United States runs deep. And so that's why, back to my point, I think we really have to consider, that given the fact so many people hate us, that we're going to have to cut off Muslim students from coming to this country for some period of time so that we can at least absorb what we've got, look at what we've got, and decide whether some of the people here should be gone, be sent back home or sent to prison. Now we're going to block all students from all Muslim countries. First of all, there's the assumption that all Muslim countries hate us. Now, I happen to originally be from Turkey, but it's not why I'm saying it. It's because it's an obvious example. Turkey is the second largest army in NATO. That is our top alliance. So not everybody in Turkey hates America. Turkey is not our enemy. In fact, it is literally one of our top allies in the world. Now, but it doesn't matter, Bob Beckel, because he's, you know, one of these, in reality, idiot right-wingers. That's how he thinks. Uh, and he thinks, oh, well, okay, I don't know, I can't put anything together, solving a case, figure out who actually did something, that sounds so hard. Why don't we instead just blame everybody that comes from a Muslim country, that's much easier. And by the way, if they're here and they're already Muslim, maybe we might want to kick some of them out. And you start with people who are maybe on visas, but how long do Muslim Americans have here? Come on, I mean, they're not really one of us, right? And you build that wall and then you turn around and you wind, wonder why people, some people in Muslim countries don't like you. huh? Could it be because you invaded some of their countries for no reason, like Iraq? Could it be that you do random drone strikes in some other countries, countries that you're not even at war with, and then you turn around and you say it's all Muslims and I'm going to keep you out of my country? Gee, I wonder why they hate you, Bob. I can't quite figure it out. This is how hatreds build with people like Bob Beckel blaming a whole society of people. Now, this was so ridiculous, so right-wing from their... I, every time I say it, it's literally laugh out loud funny. They call this guy a liberal on Fox News. Well, he's so right wing. Megyn Kelly, who is clearly right wing, is to the left of him and tries to straighten him out. Watch. But wow, that's a controversial statement, Bob. Uh, yeah, no kidding. There are 75,000 Muslim students on visas in this country. Mm -hmm. Student visas are the easiest things to get. One of the people in 9 11 was on a student visa. Mohammed Atta. Yeah, and there have been others on student visas. How do you get there? Because we asked the Brain Room to, to pull a list of terrorists who entered the U.S. in student visas. We've got one, two, three, four, you know, maybe five uh, out of 75,000. So, I mean, well, but the you, numbers aren't really in favor of saying let's penalize the well, other 74,995. Well, the the, the, the 74,995, uh, how many of those have been looked at very carefully? Well, I mean, that's one of the problems here. We can say only a few have gotten in on student visas, but we've got a lot of students here who um, may themselves harbor some feelings about the resentment towards the United States. Look, they come from countries where they are, frankly, brainwashed about the United States from the beginning. They don't, they're, they're, their leaders don't like the United States. Well, they, if, but if that is true, then why aren't we seeing, you know, mass attempts at terror by these students? The, the facts just don't bear it out. Well, I think part of the reason is that most of them have no interest in doing terror. That's not my point. Oh, really? Because that sounded like your point. It sounded like you were blaming all of them. He said, well, okay, 74,995 of them doesn't seem to have any done terrorism, but let's look into them anyway. Who cares if they're innocent? I mean, Muhammad Atta, we're talking about, of course, 2001, that was 12 years ago. So those people who were on student visas throughout that time, they had a long time to do something if they were going to do it. No, 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 it doesn't matter. Let's look into all of them. Now, wait, should we put our law enforcement forces and resources into investigating people who we have leads on, who we think, oh my God, might do us some harm? Or should we go with Bob Beckel's idea of, nah, don't worry about if you got leads or evidence or facts. That Fox News is not interested in that. No, 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 just look at all Muslims blindly and waste your time running after 75,000 innocent people. And I love the irony of him saying, oh, they're brainwashed in their country to hate us. 
as you brainwash people in this country to hate them, right or wrong. Now, to be fair, Megyn Kelly is there on Fox, and they love this. They're like, you see that? Even the liberals are more right-wing than us. All reasonable people should be at least this right-wing. But you know what? Megyn Kelly, am I not merciful? I'll bring you back a little bit. Okay, this is a game that Megyn Kelly and sometimes Bill O'Reilly play so that they seem like the reasonable moderate ones. But hey, I'll take it, she made good points. Finally, is there a funnier room in America than the brain room at Fox News? Yeah.